What's going on guys, Seth here from Team Union Seth, back as your coach of the Philadelphia Feroes for our week 4 battle in the ISL against the Wet Wang Wallies. So, getting right into it, looking at his team, he brought the Mew, the Empoleon. If you guys have not checked out the team builder, make sure you look at that so that you know why I'm bringing what I'm bringing. Uh, we have the Heracross. We have the Hippodon. The Dragonite. And the Charizard. We know that Charizard is Mega Charizard X. So, looking at his team, he brought pretty much everything I expected. Um, pretty much brought everything I expected. Rock's are really good in this match, but I'm thinking he's going to lead with the Mew. Um, so I do want to lead. I want to get a Rocks right away. He does have two defoggers. Um, well, three. I guess maybe four. I'm not sure if Charles gets Evog, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Dragonite does. I do have Polygon and you do. So he has three defoggers, if not four, if Charizard gets it. But I do want to get up by Rocks um, and see what he wants to do from there. So I set up. Come out with Donphan. Um, he's probably just going to set up his own Rocks. I'm just going to set up my Rocks, so we're probably just going to trade. Uh, yeah, so we trade Rocks. There's nothing I don't, I don't think he really wants to do anything here, so I'm just going to wrap and spin his Rocks away. There's the Ice Fang, so it does a little bit of damage, uh, and he gets hit by the Rocky Helmet. So, I think he's just going to set up Rocks again. This could give me a good opportunity to go into my Greninja. This could definitely give me a good opportunity to go into my Greninja. And let's calc. Pout on. Let's just say we this defensive. So, Hydro Pump kills in Sand. And Hydro Pump is going to do a lot to his team. So, I'm just going to go out to my Greninja. He's got the Stealth Rock. He goes for another Ice Fang, so we eat that up anyway. Um, and I'm sure he's going to predict the Hydro Pump, so I'm just going to go for the U-Turn, predicting the Empoleon to come in. And he has Ice Fang. So, predicting the Empoleon to come in. So he's going to U-Turn out. Ooh, there's a Dragonite, so it gets, by it's, it gets hit by rocks. And take some damage. So this actually may be a good opportunity for... Hmm. I can bring in Infernape, and I believe we do kill at this range with an HP Ice. I believe we do kill with an HP Ice. Let me just check. Uh, yeah, we do kill with an HP Ice. Uh, or I could double in... Or I could go into my Gary V, the Primarina, and just go for a Moonblast. Um... I think I'm just going to go into Infernape, because if I go into Primarina, that could bait in the Empoleon. I don't really want that thing in. So I'm just going to go for the HP Ice here and see what he wants to do. Um, you know, even if he goes... He doesn't know I'm Scarfed, so even if he goes into... There's the E-Speed. That's a lot of damage. He's Life Orb. So the HP Ice, we kill him with... We kill him with the HP Ice, which is really good. So we get that, we get that thing out of the way. Uh, and he brings in the Empoleon, so I'm, I'm assuming he knows I'm Scarfed at this point. So, I'm assuming he knows I'm Scarfed at this point. So with the Empoleon, um, oh my god. So, with the Empoleon, I think I'm just going to go, well, I don't want to go into my Latias just yet. Um, because if he scalds and burns me, that's a problem. I could go into Premium Arena. I don't really want that thing either. I think I'm just gonna go into Yeah, I'm just gonna go into Magirda. And I can both switch out because the signal beam does absolutely nothing, so we know Empoleon has signal beam. Maybe he was predicting Greninja. Um, I am just going I can T wave actually, that may not be a terrible option, but I'm just gonna bolt switch. Um, I don't know what he wants to go for. I don't know what he wants to go for, um, but I think Greninja is kind of safe. Uh, and I think Latias is not terrible either. But I'm actually, I'm just going to go under Greninja. He goes for the Hydro Pump. So, so far this thing is definitely looking like a somewhat offensive Empoleon. And Latias has a decent matchup against it. So let's check. Let's calc. Um... Let's count Greninja versus an offensive Empoleon. This is kind of a weird set. Definitely kind of a weird set if he's offensive. 
let's just let's just do that. Let's just say he's max HP. So let's not give him. Yeah, let's just give him max HP. Um, but no other investment. Yeah, Dark Pulse only does 29 to 35 still, so not worth it. We're just gonna go for the U-turn, and he could definitely go for the Signal Beam. Uh, ooh, he has the Rocky Helmet. Interesting. So he could definitely still be defensive. So in that case, I'm just gonna go back into. Hmm. I'm gonna go into. It's tough because like. I'm going to go into Medina, and honestly I can just keep Volt Switching if I really want to. Um, I'm actually going to Volt Switch out into Latias this time. How much does this signal mean? Let's say he's max special attack, um, and we have our Mega Latias. Alright, let's do it. Let's Mega Latias, and if he has Signal Beam... doing 32 to 38. So I'm going to double into Latias. So I could potentially Dragon Dance and maybe even force in the Mew. There's the Hydra. We eat that up. Um, so he goes for the Signal Beam and I get plus one. You know, let's do it. Let's do it. He brings in the Heracross. So this thing can very well be Scarfed, but I do outspeed at plus one. I outspeed at max speed Heracross at plus one. So does a Dragon Dance kill him? I mean, not a Dragon Dance, a Dragon Claw. Let's say... Hmm. Let's see... Dragon Claw at plus one... It doesn't kill him, or it has a very slight chance, but Zen Headbutt does. That's just what we're going to go for. And we knock him out with the Zen Headbutt. Very, very good. So I'm pretty sure we Scarf there, but we still have speed with the plus one. Um, and we are adamant, plus one Megalodios. Let's see how much mute this Mew is going to take. Yeah, I figured he'd bring in the Mew. Um, it's not taking enough for me to want to stay in, so I'm just going to double out into... Let's go out into Mag. I can go out into Mag and paralyze this thing. Um, or I can go out into Gary V, the Frid Marina. What do you have on this thing? Let's go out into Magirna, because I can even Volt Switch out if I want and get a Switch in a slime. There's the Shadow Ball. You can see the Mew has Shadow Ball. At this point, I just want to kind of save um, save my Pre-Marina for the Charizard, uh, and even potentially save Donphan for that thing, too. Charizard can, come, can almost close combat away once I get rid of this thing and weaken the Paladon uh, a bit more. So I can just go, I can go for the Floor Cannon, which would do a lot. But I think I'm just going to Volt Switch out, see what he wants to do. There's a Gunk Shot. I'm immune to that. I'm not exactly sure why he, why he did that. Uh, and I'm just going to go into Grin at this point. I know he's not Scarf, so he cannot speed me. And a Dark Pulse is definitely going to hurt. How much is a U-turn doing? Because I don't I don't see him staying in here. That's the thing. And he definitely has the Rocky Home. And he could he knows he has the Rocky Home on Napoleon. Um, so like a defensive Mew. I mean, I could Dark Pulse. Oh, wait. Napoleon is pretty much dead. So yeah, we're just going to Dark Pulse. And takes a lot of damage. But that's fine. So Greninja dies. That's okay, honestly. Because now I can come in. I can come in with. What do I want to come in with? I'm just going to go into Infernape and U turn. I'm going to Infernape and U turn. And see what he wants to do from here. So I, I'm pretty. I'm feeling pretty content right now. I'm in a pretty good spot. If he wants to switch out, I get momentum. Or I just kill the thing right there. So he stays in with the Mew. Mega Latias is now almost free to set up. Uh, if I get the plus two, I can do a lot more than Paladon, but I want to get rid of that thing, or at least weaken it. So, let's see. I'm just going to go into Magirna, because if he wants to come in with a Charizard and Flavorless me, I live that. Um, and I can fire up a Floor Cannon. Uh, let's see, how much is this Paladon doing and taking? Defensive. Floor Cannon is 47 to 56, which is not really enough for me to want to stay in here. So I'm just going to go into, huh, yeah, I'm just going to go into Gary V, go into the Primarina, eat that Earthquake up, and I'm free to fire off a Scald, because his Empoleon is so weak, not really taking, it's, you know, it's going to die to anything pretty much at this point, so I can free to fire off that Scald, does a ton of damage, goes for another Earthquake, so at this point I can rest, which is what I'm thinking I want to do, just to make sure I keep this thing healthy in case I need it for the Charizard, so I am just going to rest, 
get that off, and then I can sleep talk next turn, and if I don't get rest, I'm set. Uh, Moonblaster Scald is going to take this thing out. Get the Scald that takes it out. Perfect. It's got Earthquake, we know that. Brings in the Charizard. Uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm just going to sleep talk again. Uh, Scald or Moonblast is going to do a lot to this thing either way. They're both neutral once he Mega Evolves. And he's at 50% because of the rocks. So let's see what he wants to do. I really don't know what he could do here. I mean, he could D-Dance. Would that be his play? He Fire Blast. Interesting. We eat that up pretty well. Go for the Sleep Talk, and we get the Scald. So that almost kills him. Uh, I'm just going to go for another Scald. You know, no, we're going to go for Moonblast. Just because just cause I want to. And I think Primarina is going to get another, another two kills. Or third kill, actually, in this game. So I think that's about going to wrap it up. There's an eight, a hidden power. What I don't know what hidden power that would be. But the Moonblast does take him out. And he brings in the Empoleon. And I'm just going to Moonblast that thing as well. And we win the game. So that was pretty simple. Um, don't really have too much to say about that. I'm just going to let him know I got the replay. I don't really have too much to say about that. Um, it was a pretty easy game, honestly, so I felt really good throughout the game. Uh, Mega Latias was able to come in, get up that Dragon Dance, and pressure his team really, really well. Infernape definitely played his role. Primarina was really good defensively. Um, Medina pretty much did its job. He didn't bring the Salazzle, so that set wasn't completely necessary, but I felt like I was really well prepped for this game. I was re really, really ready for his main threats in the Dragonite and the Charizard, and then ready for the Mew with that Greninja. So I felt like I could handle his team really well. His team was pretty scary. We did, we were able to properly predict that Scarfed Heracross set. So I am glad. I am happy about that. Um, and that's pretty much it. I mean, Free Marina is a beast. Free Marina is a beast. This thing is amazing. And this thing was my last pick in the draft. It was my last pick in the draft. That's crazy. That's insane. So <laughs> this thing has a bunch of kills. It got three kills in this game. I'm not sure, it's, but it already had a bunch in the league, so we're going to see how the rest of the season goes, but good game to my opponent. Um, uh, let me know if you guys would have done anything different, uh, anything different with the team, or any different plays you would have made. Uh, make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.